My name is Linda Moore, and I am the director of Women's Ministries program called By Design. And you and your church have supported this ministry and women who have leadership roles in your church, as well as women who sit in your pews and are there just to participate in your services. And you have provided support financially and prayer support so faithfully through the years. And I wanna thank you for that. This is just a very brief introduction as to who I am and what we're doing in By Design. Um, I am married and my husband is a semi-retired pastor. We have three grown daughters who each have families of their own. We have seven grandchildren, um, two of whom of our daughters live here in New England and another daughter who lives down in North Carolina. Um, I have a mother who is 96 and that would be a prayer request I'm going out next week to be with her for 10 days and uh, would appreciate your prayers for safe travels and for my special time with her because she lives so far away. Um, as far as our ministry, uh, our mission and passion is to develop women who are servant leaders for the equipping of God's church and the enlarging of his kingdom. And we do that through various means we have leadership classes, we have resources that we uh, provide for sale. Uh, we have um, mentoring groups. We have, um, what else can I say? Uh, support groups for women in ministry. Uh, and because of the pandemic this past year, many of our in-person events, not surprisingly, were canceled. And so we had to go through Zoom, which is what I'm doing with you right now. And as a result, our uh, increase in attendance because of that medium has surpassed even our wildest go goals. We had uh, this past year, women from 25 different states that participated either in our retreat or our online Zoom presentations or were on social media with us. Uh, so we're really excited about what technology can do as a blessing to ministry. Um, as far as prayer requests, we have a terrific team and staff that are working diligently. And as we continue to expand this ministry, your prayers are that much more important. But we we are start taking a step of faith because um, the work is outpacing what we are able to do financially to support the extra hours that are being put in. So we would really ask your prayers. We need additional $13,000 in support to be able to continue with our goals. And I should mention one particular aspect of our ministry that is relatively new focus since 2015. We have a uh, young woman's ministry arm that focuses on developing both Generation Z and millennial women uh, and we do this in a variety of ways. We have a We Connect team that Christy Stoughton heads up and they are becoming involved, these members on the team are becoming involved in a variety of our ministries, both writing, being in leadership roles, taking charge of different aspects of our ministry. So it's very exciting to see how God is developing them. And I'm very thankful for their part in helping us achieve our ministry goals. Uh, we also have another young gal who's an intern. Her name is Tori, and uh, she is a Generation Z, and she is gangbusters to reach her, her uh, age group, in particular for Christ. And she's going to be participating in the Day Foundation conference next month, along with her husband, and they're going to be addressing some of the needs of the Generation Z uh, age group. So that would be a prayer request as well, that you would be praying for her. She's going to report back her findings as to what is being presented, and hopefully we'll have some new insights. But I wanted to share with you that particular focus, because as you know, it's a great need uh, among our young women and our young people today. And so that would be, I think, the total of my prayer requests at the moment. Um, again, my thanks and my appreciation for your participation 
Uh, you've been a faithful missions board in praying and asking for prayer requests. And beyond that, I should mention Chrissy Brown because she is uh, on my, my uh, board. She's been a great asset. And Margot has been a great help as well, as well as Sharon Carlson. So I'm very familiar with many of your women and I'm so glad that we have the opportunity to be involved with them and be involved with your church. So thank you again for this time and for listening.